So I'm sitting here with le legendary actor Christopher Lambert. How are you doing? Very good, thank you. All right, so you're here for the for the gala screening of your movie tonight. Uh, can you just give us a, a brief description of what it's about and uh, your role in this film? The simple description is that love's got no borders, no boundaries, and no mental, physical, racial, religious boundaries. And if you love, you love, and then everything is possible. And my character is somebody who lost himself in alcohol. Uh, he fell into all the traps that fame can bring. He was a famous boxer, he was a big boxer, and he fell in all the traps. Women, drugs, alcohol, everything, and he lost himself. And then he meets this woman who that was his choice in some ways, unconsciously, but it was his choice. And he meets this woman who, through an accident, gets paralyzed. So she's got the head. She, is, she was an incredible socialite, and she's got the head, she's got the mind, uh, she's got the vision, she's got everything. He's got the body. Together, they make one. Very nice, and it, it seems like a, a, a very emotional film. Uh, I mean, was there much preparation that you needed to go through this to in order to find that character? No, no, on uh, on the alcohol level and stuff like that. Yes, but uh, you know, I I'm the type of actor who goes according to the script. So what's in the script, I use. Um, Maybe unconsciously I'm using what I have inside, but what's written is what I am between action and cut. Okay, now um, I'm actually a big fan of Highlander, a huge fan. Um, and one of my favorite scenes is uh, in one of the sequels when you're at the hover skateboards and you're going through the city and all that. Yeah. Um, can, you, can you give us like a a quick story about one of your favorite moments on set, not just Highland, but of any set that you've ever been on? Uh, well, it's a difficult question because uh, I've made a few movies. Um, like something that just, uh, something out of the ordinary. It's probably uh, not strangely, but when I met Sean Connery, um, the, one of the locals in, uh, in uh, Scotland, and that's exactly what I'm saying about people. People are genuine. Uh, this guy didn't relate to the physical person, but related to the movie person. And he was looking at us walking down uh, a small town in Scotland saying, look darling, that is James Bond with Tarzan. Okay, and for me that puts the, 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 the seriousness that some actors has about themselves down. We are just on one side, plastic or characters. And that's the way I'm viewing this business, is when I'm acting, I'm somebody else that's going to be printed on a screen. After cut, I'm myself. So don't dream about being what you are on the screen. You are you in life, period. And that's the only thing you can use. Um, okay, and because we're part of the, the YouTube team here, we're, this is going to be uploaded on YouTube. <laughs> do you do you yourself have posted any videos on YouTube? No, no, that I don't do. No, no, it's um, but through you know I've got I've got a website that in some ways uh, is uh, is what I believe the future will be. Uh, Everybody is talking about, uh, you know, uh, not throwing away. We, we throw away so many things. And I, I created a website uh, 
three, two and a half years ago called Wiggy Week. What I give is what I get. And um, it's about sharing, it's about giving. It's about everything you get on this site. It's a free site. It's, it's nothing to be paid. And I created that because um, I believe in the communication between people, the communication between a uh, small area in France, in Europe, uh, uh, wherever you live and whatever you have, instead of stacking it up, just give it to the people who need it. And uh, so... Perfect. <laughs> Um, now, plenty of people are going to be seeing this on YouTube. Can you just give out a, a, a quick message to all the people watching this right now? Well, keep on YouTubing because it's a great way of communication. But the only thing I have to say is through Internet, you don't communicate directly with the people. So sometimes when it's a matter of feelings, talk to them directly, face them directly. YouTube, as well as the internet, is a great tool on a business level, on a communication level, but it cannot be a great tool on a feeling level. You have to face the people. You're gonna marry, you're gonna leave, you're gonna uh, lose. Uh, you cannot do it through a plastic screen, it's too easy. You need to see the smile, the joy, or the tears and the pain. And that's the only thing I don't like about the internet. Is that the communication is fake and it's too easy. So it's a great tool for life, for business, for... It's like the washing machine. It's like the radio. But sometimes you need to see the people. That's all. Thank you very much. It's been great. <laughs>